everyone in this video we are going to discuss uh, how to find the minimum element and maximum element in a given array to find the maximum element and the minimum element in a given array the following methods can be used first one is naive method and another one is dividend concave method naive method is nothing but iterative method it is the basic method to solve any problem and dividend concave method means like later we'll discuss dividend concave method first let us discuss the naive method name as, as i told you before it is nothing but it is a iterative method it is a common method to solve any problem and this is a pseudo code uh, for uh, finding max and min using iterative method so before discussing pseudo code first we go for one example then we'll come to pseudo code so in this iterate in iterative method how we are going to solve the problem means here what they have done here in the pseudo code means first they have fixed the first element as max as well as the min and later with, with the help of the loop they are comparing all other other elements with the max and min so when they compare with which one is maximum that element will come under maximum and the final min element will come under will fall under the minimum value so now what they have done here means the first line of the pseudo code is they are fixing the array of zero as the max as well as the min so here wait three four five six seven so what they have done here the first element they have fixed as max as well as the min so now the current max element will be five and the current min element is going to be five now this is our current max and current min finally after comparing all the elements finally whatever the elements are falling under max as well as the min and those elements will be considered as the maximum element as well as the minimum element so now this is our current max and current min that is first element what we are going to do now means we are just going to compare all other elements along with the current max as well as the current min now after 5 the next element is going to be 7 so now the second step is going to be we are just going to compare this 7 along with this current max and the current min so now first we are just going to compare with the max element so the current max element is 5 and the current array element is going to be 7 so when we compare which one is maximum that element will come under max so when we compare 5 and 7 obviously 7 is only the maximum element so now the current max element will be 7 now we are just going to we we just uh, finished comparing with the max element now and now we are just going to compare the current array element with the current min element so when we compare phi is only the minimum so it will retain the same value under the min again now we just compared phi and 7 now and the next array element is going to be 3 so now the current max element will be 7 and the current mean value is 5 now we are just going to compare 7 and 5 with 3 so in the third step when we compare 7 and 3 obviously 7 is only the maximum so we are writing 7 here and then when we compare with the min element 5 obviously 3 is only the minimum so we are just replacing the value 5 now the current min will be 3 so the current max is 7 and the current min is 3 so we compared it till here now the next array element is going to be 4 so now we are just going to compare these two element with 4 now so when we compare 7 and 4 7 is only the maximum so the max value will be 7 and the min value is 3 and 4 3 is only the minimum so 3 only it will retain the next step 4 we are finished now we are just going to compare with the 9 so this is our current max and current min we are just going to compare these two elements with the 9 the current array element now when we compare 7 and 9 maximum is 9 so we are writing 9 here and min is 3 and 9 which one is minimum 3 is only the minimum so we are writing 3 here so this is current max and this is current min we compared 9 now the next element array element is going to be 12 so we are just going to compare 12 along with the current uh, uh, max and current min value so when we compare 9 and 12 12 is only the maximum so now the max value will be 12 and when we compare min 3 and 12 obviously 3 is only the minimum so we are writing 3 here the next step we stopped we we finished comparing um, the, uh, the element 12 and the next array element is going to be 6 so this is current max current min we are just going to compare with the 6 when we compare 6 and 12 12 is only the maximum so we are writing 12 when we compare 3 and 6 3 is only the minimum so we are re retaining the value 3 again 
now the next element is 2 so the this is our current max and min we are just going to compare these two element along with 2 now so when we compare 12 and 2 12 is only the maximum so it is retaining the value 12 again and the max and min when we compare 3 and 2 2 is only the minimum so the minimum value will be 2 it is replacing the value 3 here now next array element there is no more or uh, unfortunately there is no more element to compare here so we stop our comparison till here so at last this is our final step in the final step it is retaining the max value 12 and the min values 2 so this is going to be our final solution so this is the maximum value and this is the minimum value in the given problem so this is our final solution this is called iterative method so this is the algorithm for that this is a max the first element is max and first element is min then with the help of the loop they are just comparing all other elements right from the position 1 till the last position so they are comparing it the current array element as well as the current max they are comparing if it is greater that element will fall under max if it is lesser that particular element will fall under min like that iteratively it will it will go on it will keep going on till the last position and finally at last whatever the value it is retaining that value is considered those values are considered as the final solution so this is what the iterative method next we go for divide and conquer method so um, this is the algorithm for divide and conquer method so what is the benefit like there are two methods so when we compare iterative method and divide and conquer method obviously the divide, uh, divide and conquer method is the efficient method because in the iterative method for small number of inputs it is okay we can go for iterative method but when we have huge number of values inside the array iterative method will not work out because the time consumption will be high it will take so many iterations so to avoid that we are just going for divide and conquer method so what is the